What's up guys, Bigfoot here, and this is going to be a video of a server update, as you can tell probably by the title. So I'm sitting in a box right now because I didn't want to give away any of the secrets to this, so let's break right out, and I will show you what I've done. So yeah, I've done quite a bit. Um, I've started to incorporate 1.7.2 blocks in now with the addition of 1.7.4 um, there's still no bucket or spigot out but I don't exactly plan to have this server up for a little bit um, I'm actually working on plans to get it paid for initially to get it up so be ready for it but um, probably it'll take at least one or two weeks at least um, so it should be in the near future Hopefully. So, keep an eye out for that. So, when you spawn in, you'll spawn in on this diamond block facing factions. Um, you'll notice that I like to incorporate some of the water. I have a glowstone right here lighting up the water as well as the tinted glass. The um, stained glass is what it's called. The stained glass. Um, blue, green, red, and yellow to signify the colors of the game types. And then... Under here, I've swatched, swat, ah, swapped out normal ice for packed ice so that you can still run on it and you can run fast, but at the same time, it will not melt if it's near glowstone, which is good because I like incorporating the two in my builds. Um, so that's a good thing. Now... Alright. So... If you run from spawn to factions, you can run up to here and then step on this pad, which will launch you 50 blocks. Or you can simply run along the ice, which since it's ice, it will be fast. If you want to run a little slower, for whatever reason, run on the side. The pad back there will launch you to about here, so right before the portal. And as you run to here, you'll notice this big castle with the... Uh, sword and pickaxe signifying factions, the letters, the TNT, and the obsidian. Um, so some of the main things of factions is kind of here, so that you know exactly where you're going, and it also looks pretty cool. Um, I'm probably going to have some flags up there on those watchtowers. Don't know if I can get it perfect yet, because I don't want to put them up if they're just going to be really awful. Um, so I'm going to try and get those good. And I incorporated the biome of a wooded forest, like a dark, dark forest, dark wood forest thing. It's creepy. So, yeah. That's right there. And keep in mind, once I'm done with this server, you'll be seeing a lot of Easter eggs. And I mean a lot. Like, there are going to be some Easter eggs that are easy to find. Like, maybe there will be a chest in the leaves of some tree. That'll have, I don't know, a book. Um, and also for all hidden items, I'm probably going to have an ender chest somewhere in here that you can just put all the stuff in. So if you find stuff, you can try and fill up your ender chest. That is, that's actually a pretty good idea. You could fill up your ender chest with all 27 um, Easter eggs. I'm going to do that. Or maybe all 26, and then there will be diamonds for the rest. And you can try and get, like, a stack of diamonds or whatever. So, you can run over there. Or if you don't want to run over there, you can run over to Survival Games. I gotta get the bow up there. Um, but going to Survival Games, you will pass both a taiga biome, I think that's what that's called. And right here will be a village coming soon. Um, which will have villagers that you can talk to, and you can get rules for all of the servers. It'll be fun. So, um, then you'll know how to play server the servers, you'll have kind of guides over here, and it'll be a fun time. So, you run over to here, it's got common blocks that you'll see in survival games, as well as a chest, because that's kind of one of the main blocks in survival games. And then the big letters. So, you'll run, you'll go over and jump in this portal. Now, if you want to go play Tower Wars which is a plugin that I am getting developed. 
um, an idea that I came up with. You will run over to the right. Maybe launch on this pad, maybe not. Um, and you'll pass that marketplace, which I'll talk about later. And right here you have the uh, red versus blue of Tower Wars. And then the tower right there. You'll run in and jump in. And it will lead you to the lobby for Tower Wars. So that should be cool. Um, and last but definitely not least is minigames. So, if you run completely make a 180 and run all the way back at minigames, first off, you will be passing a marketplace which will have all of the perks for every single rank. I gotta put them on signs and put them in here so that you know if you should pay the however many dollars for a rank to help both support the server and to get in game perks. Now, in addition to that, um, over here we have. A diamond block and a gold block, two common common currencies in mini games, and an NES controller. Um, and then obviously it says mini games up there. So you'll run in here, and this is going to be a slight bit different from the other um, servers because you will not go in through the portal right here. You will keep running, and in here you can go through a long, long list of portals for about 20 mini games that I want to eventually get. Obviously, we won't have anywhere near that many video mini games. We'll probably only even have factions to start out because we won't have we don't have the money to host more than one server and even that's going to cost quite a bit. Um I'd love to host all these servers but really just can't. So, eventually we'll have these mini games and filling them all up. So that's really it, but um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys one little Easter egg that's going to lead to a whole bunch more in the factions area. Now this will be like this for every single castle, not just factions. So you'll notice over here there are blocks in the lava. Now if you fall in lava, you will die, so yeah. Or you can run and you can jump and do this parkour. Now this parkour is not really the easiest. Um, there's really one jump that I have problems with a lot. Which is this jump right here. See if I can get it. Oh, jumped too late. So it didn't actually make me jump. Yes, got it. Right here. And you get in here. And from here you can go and find all of these great Easter eggs. So this will have to be finished. And I will do the same for all of these castles. And in the castles you will find multiple Easter eggs. As many I can, as I can fit in without it just being Easter eggs every turn you make. But yeah, it would be great for people to find all this stuff. And... Really, I want to make every single aspect of this server fun. I don't just want the hub to be something that you have to join to get into other servers. I want to have it so that you join this hub and you want to stay in it. And um, even if other servers are down or something, you can have a good time just messing around in the hub. Because I want it to be... I want every single aspect of the server to be fun. If there, if there's no point in having the server, like that part of the server, then I'm just not going to have it. So you'll be expecting, you should be expecting a lot of um, Easter eggs from me because I will be adding tons of them. So uh, that's about it for this video. Um, made a good amount of progress in the time that I didn't have my mic so make sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash bigfoot gaming films because I will be live streaming me building this a lot there as well as I'm going to be building the faction spawn kind of soon um, the survival games lobby uh, eventually I'm going to be making some tower wars maps to give you guys some hints as to that and um, really just stuff like that so 
make sure to watch and I hope you guys are excited for this server as much as I am. I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.